very persistent in in watching, waiting, inviting, igniting, activating the power and presence of the Holy Spirit. We are not such um, experts in all things, but we know that if you allow the Holy Spirit to lead you, talagang the Holy Spirit will reveal more and more and more. Hosting the supernatural. So supernatural is a word that we always hear. Lagi nating naririnig na you're very supernatural. Be in the supernatural. And yet, uh, we cannot fully grasp the, the, the whole meaning and understand it fully. Dahil talagang napakahirap, napakahirap i-absorb dahil napakalaki at napakalawak ng... Uh, ng sinasakupan ng supernatural. And today, we will learn through the Word of God how to host the supernatural. Okay. Let me read our passage in John chapter 1, 32 and 33. John gave this testimony. I saw the Spirit come down from heaven as a dove and remain on him. And I myself did not know him, but the one who sent me to baptize with water told me, the man on whom you see the Spirit come down and remain is the one who will baptize with the Holy Spirit. Okay, this is these uh, two verses are really very, very uh, powerful and um power pack very very great impact so sabi niya dito no um si John the Baptist ang sabi niya i saw the holy spirit come down from heaven like a dove at yung dove na yon no yung yung what looked like a dove rested meron siyang pinaglandingan Hindi ba katulad ng mga ibon, talagang naglalanding sila sa pinili nilang lugar? But what is more surprising here, ang sabi, he came down, down, nakababa, no? He came down and remained on him, referring to Jesus, na natili, no? nagstay, hindi umalis ang Holy Spirit. And that's why may connect natin siya sa common problem ng believer. Some believers experience spiritual complacency. And that's why they fall into spiritual stagnation. They do not grow and they fail to multiply themselves in others. Bakit mayroong mga bumubulusok? May mga nagmamature. May mga nagiging spiritual leaders May mga sumisiryoso. May mga ginagamit si God powerfully. At kahit na uh, people ate the same spiritual food, drank the same spiritual drink, hindi pa rin pantay-pantay ang growth. And uh, isa ito sa mga clue na makukuha na natin. Did the spirit remain? Okay? So napaka-importante word, no? Yung tonight, aaralan, aaralin natin yan. Let's define first the word host. Hosting the supernatural. Okay, to host means to invite, to receive, to welcome. So kapag ikaw ay nag-host, um, sigurado na nag-prepare ka, uh, you prepared that that person you invited will feel very, very comfortable and would want to stay, would want to remain. Otherwise, you would not have invited that person in the first place. You want to play host. Dito ka lang ako bahala sa'yo. Dito ka lang wag kang aalis. Naghanda ako. Alika, ka. enjoy ka. Hindi ka maiinip. Marami akong prepare. So yung taong in-invite would 
uh, would have a measure kung gaano siya ka, ka welcome based dun sa mga na-prepare nung tao. Kung talagang gustong gusto siya nung tao, handang-handa yung tao na yung taong in-invite niya ay magstay ng mas matagal. Do you know that the Holy Spirit feels the same way? Na kapag siya yung in-invite, magde-decide siya kung magtatagal siya. Kasi uh, pinapakiramdaman niya kung how, how warmly He is received, how much welcome the Holy Spirit is. Yun ang ibig sabihin ng hosting, yung sasabihin niyang, nagtagal nga ako eh kasi enjoy. Ayoko na nga umuwi eh. Kung hindi lang ako may gagawin, dito muna ako eh. Feel at home. Si Holy Spirit ba feel at home sa inyo? Gustong gusto ba niyang, gustong gusto niya bang mag, mag-rest at mag-remain sa inyo? Katulad ng taong ito? Yung sasabihin din niya, ayoko ba eh, ayoko pa sanang umuwi. Gusto ko bang i-extend, nag-extend na nga ako eh. Sagad na, kailangan ko nang bumalik. Right? But the same warm welcome must be felt by the Holy Spirit in every believer. Nararamdaman niya at gustong gusto niya na, na uh, mag, mag-stay, to rest, and to remain. Hindi lang yung dumating as umalis. Dumating at naglagi, nagstay ng ma- ng matagal. Okay. Supernatural. <clears throat> okay. Okay, no? So sinasabi natin ni eh, um ito muna, no, the supernatural. It means beyond and above the natural. This is where God operates. It is the realm where heaven and the earth intermingle. The realm of interaction between God and man. So hosting the supernatural, no, yung parang gusto mo na uh, gumawa ng... Um, kung sa bahay yon ay sa, saan saan yung guest room saan saan siya i-entertain no ito yung supernatural uh, later i will explain the difference between hosting and indwelling so uh, dito no yung supernatural uh, gusto natin siya na isa siyang lugar na doon nagmi-meet si God at yung tao doon nagkakausap si God at yung tao. Doon nagkakaroon kaya interaction, intermingling. Consciously hosting nga eh, no? Hosting. The realm of the supernatural is a realm of revelation and knowledge. It is a realm of an encounter with the supernatural God. Okay, ito yung lugar in your spirit No, of course, it is invisible, but you know, nagki-create ka ng isang welcoming atmosphere, ng isang uh, warm space for God. Nadarating siya, kapag tinawag mo siya, Holy Spirit, you are in this place. Explode within me. Okay, no? So, it is also a realm of limitless possibilities. A realm where destinies change, miracles occur, victory is obtained. It is a realm where things that do not exist come into existence. Okay, no? Yung kung saan kayo ngayon, na nahahawakan nyo yung chair or yung laptop nyo, yung cellphone nyo, that is the natural world. Nakikita nyo yung katabi nyo. But where you and God meets, where you and God talks uh, uh, talk to get to talk to each other eh, that is the supernatural atmosphere or supernatural space na totoong totoo nandiyan si God ramdam na ramdam mo andiyan siya eh pini-prepare mo yung place na yon eh kaya nga gusto natin 
mag-host tayo ng supernatural. To host the supernatural. Okay, hold on. Yes, no? So, <clears throat> John was very emphatic that the Holy Spirit rested and remained in Jesus. The Spirit resting is something very different. The Holy Spirit did not rest on Jesus just to fulfill a specific ministry purpose. But He remained in Jesus. Kaya si Jesus the whole time, He was hosting. Binabahayan siya ng something supernatural. Something um, Uh, some an invisible heavenly power, godly power, nandun sa loob niya. Okay, so he was hosting the supernatural, the very presence of God. Kaya nakita natin dito, he rested and remained. At gusto natin sa buhay natin, tuloy-tuloy. Hindi lang minsan yung nagpray tayo sa Windwatch o yung nag-worship, naramdam naramdam ang Holy Spirit. But every single moment, nararamdaman mo kasi nandun pa rin siya. And of course, the Holy Spirit never never leaves you in a way na ay ayoko na sa iyo. Pero yung uh, yung lakas ng ng pakiramdam mo na nandiyan siya. Yung lakas ng, yung daloy ng anointing na you're so anointed. You, you really, yung the level or degree ng presence niya, napakalakas. Kaya nga sinasabi natin, ang lakas-lakas ng presence ni God. Grabe, tindi. Right? Do you feel like that every time? Right? So talagang, you know, yung you really feel the power it's in you hindi siya parang nawawala na kanina nagpray ako ang lakas tapos naki may ginawa ako tapos ngayon na naman uli wind watch malakas na naman but kaya nga ito host ibig sabihin practicein natin na palagi practicein natin na 24/7 conscious ka kay God no yung parang lagi siyang katabi mo lagi mo siyang nararamdaman Lagi mo siyang kausap, parang lagi mo siyang naririnig. Okay? So, yes, conscious. No? Conscious ka sa manifestation niya. No, yung, uh, yun yung parang minsan nawawala. Hindi ko sinasabing, ay wala ng Holy Spirit, iniwang ka na. Hindi niya gusto sa iyo. He is there. He can never leave you. The moment we receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, package deal yan. Meron na tayong indwelling ng Holy Spirit. He put His Holy Spirit inside of us. But it's, kung nandyan siya, bakit kaya not all the time ay ang lakas, hindi malakas. Because we are not always conscious. Kaya nga yung conscious, di ba? Para, oh, conscious ka. Conscious ka. But alert ka. Alert ka. Awake ka. Magbantay ka. Hinihintay ng marami na mayroong gumawa nun para sa kanila like a worship leader or a powerful prayer leader or a powerful sermon. Of course, we all need to do our part. If you're a prayer leader, then you need to be conscious of the presence of the Holy Spirit. If you're the preacher, you're conscious of the presence of the Holy Spirit. But even then, even if you're just listening, dapat ikaw din conscious ka ramdam na ramdam mong malakas. Kahit na kumakain ka, nagpumunta ka sa shopping mall, may binili ka, nag-aaral ka, Bible study about God, malakas. Yan. Yes, uh, Ethel, let me be conscious na nandito ka 24-7. Yun ang ibig nating sabihin. No? Yung, yung bang, Ay, umalis, tas bumalik kang. Well, actually, really, he never leaves. It's just that we feel he's he's not he's not near us or para bang par hindi malakas hindi katulad dun sa napaka spirit field na pinapakinggan nating nagpe-pray katulad ni Dr. Lisa no parang talagang aramdam ah, na ramdam mo no napapa-amen ka minsan naiiyak ka pa 
nakikikonscious ka. Pero ito dapat bawat isa sa atin, kanya-kanya tayong trabaho. Para kapag nagtipon-tipon tayo, madali na, hindi na kailangan para bang yung plancha, no? sasaksak mo, hihintay mong uminit, matagal-tagal pa. Ito, pag pa instant, mainit ka agad. When we come together, when we are all conscious, walang mahirap bitbitin, wala nang, wala nang kinukonvince na, come on, let's pray, let's worship the Lord. Let us feel His presence. Let us welcome. Let us host the presence of God. Sana wala nang ganun. Pag pray, let's pray. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, you are. Lahat tayo conscious. Palaging mainit. I like your comments, Ethel. No? Palaging mainit. He remains. Hindi gumagawa ka ng paraan na you're hosting God 24-7. Hindi lang yung pag pag quiet time tapos pag of course it's harder when you have to leave your house and work syempre hindi ka maka-concentrate but even then you're still conscious lord tulungan mo ako sa work ko lord bigyan mo ako ng wisdom lord wala akong idea bigyan mo ako ng idea no you you make it a point na mina manifest mo binubuhay mo inaactivate mo yung consciousness mo that god is with you at magugulat ka dahil nandiyan siya talaga at mararamdaman mo. Okay? So that that is remaining. That's how uh, God will remain. The Holy Spirit will remain. When He knows that, yes, palagi mong kausap ang Holy Spirit. It doesn't mean you're working eh. Hindi na pwedeng sumama ang Holy Spirit. Magpaturo ka. <laughs> Bigyan mo akong wisdom, Lord. Alam mo lahat ng bagay. No? Kausap mo siya in your spirit, in your heart, in your thoughts, everything. Kasama mo ang Holy Spirit and you're conscious. Nagmamanifest kaya sasabi mo lagi kong kasama si God. Hindi ako iniiwan ni God. Ramdam na ramdam ko kahit na nung na may problema ako, nararamdaman ko pa rin si God. Bakit? Tinatrabaho mo. Lord, you are here. I know. Lumalakas. Alam mo yung, yung bang uh, kapag nagpa-foots pa ka, no? tapos kinikis-kis yung paa mo, nung pumunta ka doon, bitak-bitak ka, no? tapos makapal yung kalyo. Aba, maya-maya, na, nararamdaman mo na no? nung, nung numipis na. Konting touch lang. Ay, ang kinis na. No? Ay, ang lambot na. Ramdam mo. Ganun dapat. Nili, kung kung nararamdaman natin na parang hindi ko maramdaman si God. Abay, na, tumit, may tumitigas, may kinakalyo sa puso, sa espiritu. Mahirap kaya magpray na, can you pray? Ah, Tapos doon ka lang magko-conscious presence. Ah, ah, yes, Lord. I'm sure si Dr. Lisa kanina pang umaga sa kanila ngayon, no? nasa New York siya. I'm sure kagabi pa yan nag-prepare nung sinabihan siya ni Pastor Nina no nag kinakausap na niya conscious na siya mas mas inientis intensify niya yung consciousness ni God yes no so are you am i are we no are, are we the kind of people God wants to be with kasi kaya siya nagremain eh di ba sarap dito ha and just like the other um uh, bible uh, in the people in the bible na alam nating they were with god kasi sabi ni god i will dwell with my people she may gusto ang ang problema uh, pinapansin ba siya kinakausap ba siya nilalambing ba siya kinakarinyo ba siya pinupuri ba siya o pag may hinihingi lang o pag may problema lang. Kasi sabi niya, hmm, pag may kailangan lang yan eh. But God knows na naghahanap siya ng mga tao na where he can rest and remain para dumaloy siya doon sa taong yon. And possibly that person like Dr. Lisa, nag-flow din siya sa atin. Nahawa din tayo. Yun, naghahanap si God ng ganong tao. Yung handa. Yung padada, Holy Spirit, no? 
manifest your presence. Host, gusto niya maging host. Daluyan mo ko, Lord. Yes, Lord. See? Yan. Yan ang hosting. You are 24-7 conscious that He is here. He is with you. At kung ganun tayo, moment by moment, okay ka lang, nagugutom ka, di ba sa bisita, ganun tayo? Kanod ka ng TV para di ka mainit. O dito ka, higa ka, presko dito. O naglilabas ako ng merienda, o kain ka muna. You know, if, if we treat God the same way, That we show Him, Lord, I need you. Lord, please stay, don't go. Lord, I, I, I want you always. Sabi, andito lang ako, andito lang ako, di ako aalis. Oo, nandito ako. I-affirm niya. Kasi God, oo, dito ako. Gusto, gusto ko nga dito eh. Ayoko na nga ang umuwi. No, because uh, nakakakita si Lord ng mga tao na welcome, na welcome siya. At pare-pareho tayong believers, but yun na nga ang problema. It's not 24-7 that people are consciously uh, consciously hosting. Ang ganda ng word ni Sheila. Or hosting or hungering for the Lord. I want you, Lord. Okay. So, hosting the Holy Spirit will empower you too. Why is it very important to host? Because it will empower you to, number one, unveil heaven's agenda. No, unveil, yung belo, tatanggalin mo yan. Super uhaw at gutom. Yes, Pastor Bilen, happy birthday to a, a spirit-filled woman of God. Okay, no, unveil. The realm of the supernatural is the place where God operates. Okay, katabi mo si Lord. No, that's the supernatural realm. Ramdam mo, invisible siya. Nag-ooperate si God. All believers have the Spirit of God within them. Yun yung indwelling. Andiyan na siya eh. But there is more that enables believers to be so full that they overflow His Spirit into their world. Tinatrabaho mo na mapuno ka ng mapuno. No, yung conscious na conscious ka, punong-puno ka na ng Holy Spirit. Kaya kaya mo siyang ilabas anytime. Kasi sino man makasalubong mo, nasaan ka, talagang inaano mo, ay pinapaapaw mo. Yes, that's the word, pinapaapaw mo. Pastor Nick, thank you. No, soaking in His presence. Because the supernatural realm is where God reveals to us what happens behind the physical realm. Dito sa supernatural mo, na kayo ni God, magkatabi, magkausap palagi, naglalambingan, no? alam mo ba, kinakausap ka din ni God. Naririnig mo siya kasi sensitive ka. Look at this, no? kay Elisha. God inside-minded. Wow, thank you for that, Cecile. Agreed upon by Pastor Mina. God inside, yes. no? Tingnan natin si Elisha. May, may servant siya. When the servant of the man of God got up and went out early the next morning, an army with horses and chariots had surrounded the city. Oh no, my Lord. What shall we do? Nanginginig, nanginginig na siya. The servant asked, Don't be afraid, Elisha answered. Those who are with us are more than those who are with them. And Elisha prayed, Open his eyes, Lord, so that he may see the supernatural. Then the Lord opened the servant's eyes and he looked in the supernatural and saw the hills full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elisha. Si Elisha, magkatabi lang sila nung servant niya, ramdam na ramdam niya, kasama niya ang Panginoon at lahat ng mga anghel na pinadala ng Panginoon. War, warrior uh, angels, kasi horses and chariots ang dala. No? Mga makikipaggyera ang mga angels. Kampante siya, samantalang uh, yung servant niya, takot na takot. No? Sabi niya, ano itong gagawin natin? Na ta- Yun ang nasa natural. Ang nakikita lang niya yung paligid niya. Kaya sabi niya, Lord, buksan mo na nga ang mata nito. Nanginginig na eh. 
no nag-intercede si Elijah, Elisha, and at once that he entered the presence of God. He became conscious, "Oh Lord, you are with us. There is nothing to fear." That's what the supernatural world or realm can do. Dinadala tayo doon sa um in the place where God is. And that is where God talks to us. That is where God reveals to us kung anong nangyayari in your situation. You're not really clueless because you're speaking to God and God is speaking back to you. Okay. The realm of the supernatural is where you hear things which others do not hear. Ikaw lang. Kaya kung minsan weird, di ba? Parang ikaw lang yung, like si Dr. Lisa kanina, no? Siya la, narinig niya lahat yon. Hindi galing sa kanya yon, no? Yung sinasabi niya na uh, yung mga warnings, no? Na arise, arise, arise. The gospel, my gospel, my gospel is the answer. Naririnig niya, inuulit lang niya. Kung hindi siya sensitive, eh kahit tayo, hindi, hindi natin maririnig yung prayer nung time na yon. That's why we, we need to practice a, a, yung presence uh, presence field. No? Na lagi, lagi, lagi kang aware kung anong nangyayari. That's what the Holy Spirit does. When we host Him, the Spirit, who is the supernatural being, He unveils heaven's agenda. No, yung, yung mga dapat nating malaman about us, about the situations ar- around us, si God na ang nag advance party. Siya na yung unang-unang nagbabalita sa atin. We become sensitive in our spiritual ears that we hear what God is saying and others could not. Just like Elisha and his servant. Number two, when we host the supernatural, we are empowered to usher heaven's atmosphere. Okay, no? Yung atmosphere. Ito ngayon, ang atmosphere, ma- mainit. No? Mainit dito, nasa hallway ako. Hindi naman ganun ka, ka ano, no? yung, yung walang clouds of glory, walang, wala akong nakikitang mga nagta-trumpet na angel. But once you are conscious, no? even if you're sitting right in front of your laptop, you can feel the atmosphere in heaven. And when you pray, you can deliver it. Maparamdam mo din sa iba. Again, just like what Pastor, uh, what Dr. Lisa did. Okay. The secret of a life overshadowed and empowered with the Holy Spirit is learning the lifestyle of hosting the presence of God. Learning how to cultivate a genuine and intimate relationship with the Lord. Okay, tingnan natin ang Acts 5.15. Mga tao na nag-host ng presence. Okay? As a result, people brought the sick into the streets and laid them on beds and mats so that at least Peter's shadow might fall on some of them as he passed by. Crowds gathered also from the towns around Jerusalem, bringing their sick and those tormented by impure spirits. And all, grabe to, all of them were healed. Sana all. Kaya dapat all mag-host ng presence. Shadow pa lang yan. Pagdaan sa, dumaan ang shadow ni Peter, gumaling yung mga may sakit na nakalinya sa kalye. Kasi sobrang dami. Hindi na maisa-isa ni, ni Peter. No? Kaya pag-asa nila pag madaanan, if his shadow fall on us, we, might, we can also be healed. At yun na nga. Grabe talaga, Pastor Bilen. Okay. When Peter walk in the streets, Even if his shadow alone passed over the people who were lying sick, they would recover. Isn't that amazing? Isa ito sa mga verses na, na bagong, bago lang akong Christian, she ito sa akin, 
No more, di Pastor Mina, no more stopping since that day about the Holy Spirit. Peter had a shadow anointing that most of us also carry but are not aware of. At ay sinasabi ni Pastor Kao, I think last week, no? yung shadow. Okay, let me explain it. Paano nangyayari yan? No? Peter's powerful hosting. Grabe. Wala eh. Babad na babad. Babad na babad sila at hindi nawawala 24-7 yung connection. Hindi sila bumibitaw. Gusto din namin yung Lord. No? Skia in Greek means shadow. Shade caused by the interception of light. An image cast by an object and representing the form of that object a sketch an outline okay no saan galing ang shadow na yon okay no ah, natutunan ko to kay pastor mem <laughs> kahapon shadowing a doctor no ah, napag-usapan namin medical sinama ko na rin diyan shadowing a doctor is typically a fairly hands off experience for you the shadower Your role will mostly be that of a silent observer, itong naka-blue, hanging in the background as the physician goes through a complete day on the job. This means that you'll sit in not only during patient visits and procedures, but also the doctor completes paperwork, reviews files, takes breaks, pati break time kasama pa rin niya, and handles anything else that comes up. So siya, no, itong naka-blue, sunod lang siya ng sunod. Tinapakinggan niya lahat. Yan yung shadow. Sina shadow niya? Kinakatch niya yung shadow ng doctor para matuto siya. So tayo, shadowing God. No, Lord, overshadow us. Yung shadow mo mapunta sa akin. Bakit? Kasi lagi mong katabi si God. Gustong gusto mo siyang kasama. Nahahawa ka na. Kaya kahit yung shadow mo, no, yung uh, paggaan mo, grabe na. Grabe ang power. So ganyan ang mga doctor if they want to learn. Tayo din ganyan. You want to learn? You want to be a powerful spiritual doctor one day? O di magpaturo ka sa great physician? Sa great miracle worker? The one who has the final offer. Grabe, no? Ganyan pala katindi ang training ng mga doktor. Tapos tayo, ay, training na naman. Ay, nakakapagod na. Gusto ko pang matulog. Well, it's up to you. It's up to us. We want to be as powerful as the teacher, itong itong ano, itong consultant na to. Eh makinig maigi itong clerk, no, medical clerk. Maki sumunod siya kahit mukha siyang ewan pa. Kahit di siya kinakausap, nakikinig lang palagi sa usap. Hindi siya kasama, background lang siya. So at the beginning, ganyan tayo, no? Andun tayo sa shadow. Hanggat natututo tayo, napapass on internship, sabi ni, oh, ni Oli, uh, ni Ethel. nag internship ka kay God. Nagpapatrain ka kay God. And you need to be with Him 24-7 para ma- makuha mo lahat ng training, maging magaling ka, maging very sharp ka sa iyong anointing. Okay. Kading, yan, no? Okay, his very presence operating in our midst. The atmosphere of the throne of God coming down into the earth realm. So from this is God, this is you. At nakakast yung kanyang light at nai-intercept mo yung light. And you yourself you're creating your shadow reflecting reflecting God's glory. Kaya pala ito yon ano? What does it mean to be in the shadow of God? Di ba? Under the shadow of the Almighty. Kanang, well, I kind of know it. Pero pag talagang inaral mo yung salita, it means when you say under the shadow of the Almighty, 
Be in the presence of God. Isha, magpa-shadow ka sa Kanya. Meaning God is always surrounding you. Ay, nako, grabe. Kaya sabi, when you pray, Lord, put us under the shadow. Of, put us under the shadow of the Almighty God. Gusto ko yan. Lord, gusto ko magbabad. Makuha ko lahat. And that's why when Peter passed over the sick people, they were all healed. Yun ang sabi ng Biblia. All healed. Okay, Psalm 91. Remember, you are an atmospheric person. May kinakanta lagi si Pastor Kuki, no? yung shifting the atmosphere. Ikaw yun. Wherever you go, you're shifting the atmosphere. You're bringing the glory, the, the shadow from the throne of God. You're, you're shadowing the glory of God to others. In, in where you are, in your environment, nag-iiba. <laughs> uh, si, <clears throat> si Pastor Chela, no, nagkasakit yan eh, nagpa-opera, no? And I had the chance to to pray for her. Ayan, Donesa. Eh, tulog siya. Sabi ko, never mind. So I I woke her up gently. Pastor Chels, Pastor Chels, pag mulat ng mata niya, hindi, hindi siya maka ma-disoriented siya. You know, in-apply ko yung turo ni Pastor Mina. I I held her. At alam ko, pinapunta ako ni Gan. Pastor Chela, the kingdom of God has come upon you. With conviction. I want to change the atmosphere. Why? Because I'm confident I, I am a, a better of God's light. No, it's sh- shadow. No? Sh- shadowing God. Atmospheric person. So if you know your power, you can, you can always extend, uh, extend God's glory into the atmosphere. Wherever you are. Okay. No? Third, unlock heaven's authority. Okay? Uh, yung una, uh, agenda, kung anong gusto ni God. Atmosphere, and now authority. Okay. Isaiah 10.27, I like this. It is the anointing that destroys the yoke. Wow. Isaiah, that is wow. The yoke, no, yung, yung pamatok, yung sa kalabaw, yung nilalagay dyan. Pag nilagay yan sa kalabaw, hindi yan makakatanggi. Kung saan mo it, it turn, dun siya pupunta. Uh, under yoke. Eh. So ta- ang mga tao, they're under the yoke. Uh, the yoke represents anything that hinders, binds, or oppresses. It can also be sickness, mental, emotional, or physical. It can be disease, death, or luck. The yoke represents anything that the devil can put on you. Dito. Hawak ka dito, ganyan. To steal your joy. Rob you of the abundant life Jesus gives. Okay. And you know, it's only in the, you are there in the presence of God. You are beginning to change the atmosphere. You're bringing the atmosphere of heaven for a sick friend, for a depressed friend. And you know, the anointing that is flowing, the authority, is breaking the power of Satan. Nandun ka eh. You're hosting the supernatural. Karga-karga mo, dala-dala mo. Nothing else can deliver those who are in bandage. Nothing else can heal the sick unless it is blessed by God. Kaya, grabe, dapat karga-karga mo. Thank you, Pastor Cookie. No? Karga mo yung anointing kahit saan ka pumunta. And you will begin to change atmosphere. You are an atmospheric person. Nag-iiba. Sumasaya. Lumiliwanag. Bumubuti kahit anong kapaligiran sa kapumunta. Okay. 
Sabi ni Bill Johnson, we are enabled to partner with the kingdom of heaven and see it released here on earth. The presence of God will within us will bring reformation to the world around us. Encountering a loving God. Kaya pinag natin kanina, no? Yung si Pastor Minang, haba, di ba? Ang daming, ang daming challenges. Do you know bakit kailangan mong i-host ang supernatural? Because Jesus did not save us only to bless us. Para lang ibigay niya yung gusto natin. Do you know what we are supposed to do? Ang sabi niya, go and make disciples of all nations. Tandaan niya yung, we have to be nations-minded. Ang laki ng ating assignment. At ang sabi ni God, saan kita padala, US, uh, Australia, Canada, Japan, you bring the atmosphere of heaven with you. You bring my authority with you. And that's, ay, dyan pala si Pastor Chela. Oh. ba? Diba? You are a partner with the kingdom of heaven. Hindi yung, hindi yung spirit field lang pag nag-quiet time, spirit field lang pag pinag-pray, spirit field lang kapag nandyan na yung ibang Christians. We are Christians and God wants to anoint us and authorize us 24-7. Kaya natin sinasabi, yes, the Holy Spirit is with you. Yun yung indwelling. Pero hino-host mo, you, wini-welcome mo yung power, wini-welcome mo yung authority, wini-welcome mo yung, yung mighty presence. Yan, dyan nagkakaiba. Okay. Be an influencer. Yes, no? Ngayon, usong-uso mga influencer. Influence others. Wala tayong magagawa. We are commanded to heal the sick and cast out demons. Whether you like it or not. Hindi nagpaalam si God sa atin. Because we do not have the right to change the commission. Nagutos na si God. And we want everyone na masasabihan ng ating message. This is our mandate. Whether you like it or not. Hindi yan binigay na, ah, mamimili ako ng tao na pagbibigyan ko. Lahat, lahat di ba gusto natin? Blessings. All must receive blessings. Pagdating sa trabaho, a few? Hindi po pwede all. We have no right to change God's mandate. Kaya tayo sa LGI, sumusunod tayo. Kahit na, ayan, no? yung, yung atmosphere ang hirap dalhin sa labas. And yet, sila yung nagbibless. Bakit? Talagang gagawin mo. Ay, gusto kong i-change yung atmosphere eh. Diba? No, so you you pray for you pray for approach someone you you'd like to pray for nakikita mo nahihirapan para kung pipilay-pilay kayo Pastor Cookie right ginawa mo yan sa Dole in Yes Pastor Chris in approach niya yung isang isang may may sakit no na sabi niya para pong ano masakit yung paa niyo para umiika-ika kayo uh, pwede ko po ba kayong ipag-pray wow That is shifting the atmosphere. Ibig sabihin, si Pastor Cookie, eh, host siya ng supernatural. Kasi hindi mo naman, ay, kailangan ko maging holy. May, may sakit pala. Oh, holy, holy, holy. Hindi mo magagawa yun right then and there. Ibig sabihin, nakaswitch siya, yung switch mode niya, na, sa supernatural. Nandun siya, nag-aasikaso ng mga dokumento. Pero yung spirit niya, nandun sa throne room. In the atmosphere of God's throne room. Well, can't do anything. I can't change it for you. <laughs> I can't even change it for myself. Pag may sakit, lay hands. Grabe, no? Okay. It is our birthright. Our spiritual inheritance. Nung pinanganak tayo, na born again tayo, kasama na yan. Karapatan natin, Pamana na, pinamanan na sa atin yan. Whether we like it or not. Meron tayong lawyer. It's always, sabi niya, down, ano? down line. No? Pag may, magmamana ka, pababa. Father, son. Ganyan tayo kay God. Father, son. Ang sabi niya dito, no? rule in the realm of the supernatural. 
an inheritance is something somebody else paid for. Pinaghirapan niya yan. Papasa niya sa'yo yan, libre. Mana lang yan eh. Hindi mo pinaghirapan. But if you desire to increase it, ayaw mo kumonte, gusto mo pa dumama, dumami, anong gagawin mo? You need to work it out in order to produce more. Gamitin mo. Kaya hindi mo ginagamit, pabawas ng pabawas yan. Nababawasan ka ng asset, ng spiritual resources. Okay? Kaya host uh, solution, host more of him today and increase your authority. Gamitin mo ng gamitin shamelessly. Kikita mo. Oh, si na Pastor Hiram, ganyan. Kahit sa eroplano, sa mall. Pwede ko kayong tumalon? <laughs> Tingnan nyo kung pilay pa kayo. Di ba? It really takes a lot of courage and authority to do that. Okay? So... And remember, to, to increase it, we need two things. We need to be very hungry for God. A deep hunger for God. I want more of you, God. Hindi lang kanta nung, I want more of you, God. Ang sarap kantahin nun eh, lalo pag may banda. Pero yung totoo, yung nandiyan ka sa opisina, Lord, I want more of you. May problema ka, Lord, I want more of you, Lord. A deep hunger and then total surrender to God. Hanggat hindi tayo nagsusurrender everything unto the Lord. Kung 90% ang sinurrender mo, may 90% kang anointing. But if you make 99.9%, siyempre wala namang perfect. Ano? Wow! You are that powerful. That's why you need to hunger and to surrender. No shortcut. Yan. Powerful, Olive. LGI Spotlight. Okay. Once you encounter God's glory, you know, pag in ka ni God, and by the way, on Thursday, that is a night, a hungering night, a holy night. Alam niyo yung gabi yun, sinasabi lang natin, we want more of you. Wala po kami ibang gusto. Gusto lang po namin kayong dumating gusto namin kayong i-host. Gusto namin ma- gusto more, more, more of you, God. More, Holy Spirit. Kaya andun tayo at host. Oh, Lord, I'm here, a host. I'll be there. <laughs> I will be there to show God I am a willing host. I am, I am hungry. Help me surrender fully, Lord. I'll be there. Okay, if you want to learn how to host, kanya-kanya tayong trabaho doon. But let's trust the Holy Spirit. Yung in-charge siya sa supernatural, in-charge tayo sa hosting. Why? Once na narama, naranasan mong glory ni God, wherever you go, you become a carrier of that encounter. Hindi na mawawala sa'yo yan. Pinatikman ka na ni God, asahan mo, if you continue to yield, talagang Uh, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, will remain, rest and remain. Here's the one thing I crave from Yahweh, sabi sa Psalm 27.4, the one thing I seek above all else, I want to live with Him every moment in His house. Grabe, talo tayo nito, no? Every moment in His house, hosting, Beholding the marvelous beauty of Yahweh, filled with awe, delighting in His glory and grace. I want to contemplate in His temple. Yun lang. Lord, just rest and remain. Right? I will be a carrier of, the God, of God's glory. Yes, Nanir. So people of God, hunger and surrender to God's will. He will rest and he will remain and get ready for a spirit explosion within you. That is God's message. He is waiting for the hosts. And let us show him, Lord, 
we are your hosts. Amen and amen.